Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of domain and range of exponential functions. This is standard A.9a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 49 of the 2021 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have part of an exponential function. We have it graphed here. When we're dealing with exponential function, this is the form that we're typically looking at, a times b to the x. And so we're looking at this inequality here, and we need to find the domain. All right, so the domain is unfortunately not going to be defined for us on our reference materials or mathematics chart. So we need to come into the star test knowing what the domain is, and then what is the range? It's not asking for the range in this particular problem, but your incorrect answer choices are going to include the range as well. So to differentiate the two, let's go ahead and take a moment to define these terms. So the domain, which is what we're looking for here, is the set of all possible independent variable values. Now, we will typically just use shorthand and say, those are the x values, and if, if we say these are the x values, we are correct. But technically, they are the set of all possible independent variable values, and in our problems, right, the independent vari variables are going to be the x values, or the x variables, because that's what we are starting with. That's the, the variable that we plug in, we do something with it, and then we get our dependent variables. And so our dependent variables are going to be our range, set of all possible dependent variable values. And so in this case, and in most cases, we can say those are going to be our y values. Right, so even in, even in this right here, this form, right, we would give you the a, we'd give you the b, we'd give you the x, and then we'd say, all right, calculate that what is y equals, and so y depends on the values of a, b, and x. Now, we sometimes we'll see y values, but sometimes if it's a function, right, we might see f of x, we might see g of x, h of x, anything of x, just to show that it's a function. And so, even though we will typically say, all right, domain is the x, range is the y, sometimes that range might not be a y, but in this case, we've got x, We've got y, we don't have an f of x or anything like that. And so, we're looking for our domain. So let's take a look at our x values. So our domain, we're just looking left to right along our x-axis. And take a look right here. We've got an open circle. So that means something. So if we have an open circle, that means we're not going to include that number. See how that circle is sitting on the negative 2 if we're looking on the x-axis? That means we're not going to include the negative 2 in our domain. We're just going to say greater than or less than. If it were a closed circle, that means we could actually include it, and we would just say less than or equal to, you know, greater than or equal to. So that's why all of your uh, inequalities there are going to be simply greater than instead of greater than or equal to. And so our domain is going to be 2. There's nothing less than negative 2. It's simply greater than negative 2. Now, it stops right here at 1. You notice how it stops. It goes from negative 2 to 1. But that's just because we run out of room on this graph. Since you have this open tr um, arrow up here, that means it continues to grow and grow and grow for infinity, and it's still stretching out a little bit. So we can't say that it stops at 1. We're going to say that our domain is going to be x is greater than any value that's larger than negative 2. And so you see we've got both of these right here, but the d says y equals, and that's not, that's not good. And then our range, if we were looking for it, would just be the vertical values, right? And see how it starts at 1? We would say y is greater than anything larger than 1. That's the range, but we're not looking for the range. So our answer here is c.